last video about mole concept, we discussed about how to convert mole to mass or mass to mole. In this video, we're going to include how to convert mass or mole to the numbers of atoms or molecules or the number of particles. Following these steps, of course, we should always start with the given. Then we're going to get the molar mass to get the mass to mole ratio or the conversion. As what we did in the previous video. Now here, we're going to apply as our last step the ratio between the Avogadro's number and the numbers of mole. And this is our roadmap for us to get the correct answer. First, we're going to convert grams or the mass to moles before we can get the number of atoms or molecules. How? Just like for example, we let A as our compound. Of course, we're going to start with our given A. Then we're going to multiply that one with the one mole of that substance A. Then divide to the molar mass of that compound A times again with the Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power. It is the constant value. Then divide with another one mole of that compound A. Then right after that one, we could be able to cancel out the grams and the mole. Remaining, the number of atoms of that substance or compound. There, we can get the correct answer. Then, as a reverse, if our given is in the number of atoms or molecules or particles, we are going to multiply that one to the one mole of that substance, then divided by 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power as the number of atoms. Then, multiply to the molar mass of compound A. Then, again, divide to one mole of that compound. Then, here we can now cancel out the atoms and the mole remaining the grams to answer our problem. And if the given is already in mole, you can do the shortcut. For mole to mass or even for mole to the numbers of particles. Let's have a sample problem. For example, we have how many atoms is 20 grams of chlorine gas? So let's start with a given. Our given is 20 grams of chlorine gas. Then next, we're going to get the molar mass. And the molar mass of chlorine gas is 70.9 grams of chlorine gas. Take note, since our given is in grams, the molar mass should be written as a denominator. Now, our mole to mass ratio or conversion, we have 1 mole of chlorine gas is to 70.9 grams of chlorine gas. Next is the Avogadro's number to mole ratio. Again, what is our constant value for Avogadro's number? That is 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power. So, our mole to Avogadro's number ratio is 1 mole of chlorine gas is to 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power. Then we can now cancel out the grams in numbers of mole, remaining number of atoms as to answer the problem. Let us now solve 20 times 1 divided by 70.9 times 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power atoms of chlorine gas divided by 1 is equals to 1.7 times 10 to 23rd power atoms of chlorine gas. Got it? Very good. For our next sample problem, we have how many molecules are there in 4 moles of glucose or C6H12O6? Are you ready? So what is our given? That is, or moles of glucose. The next, our molar mass. But since our given is in moles, remember what I have said lately, we can just perform the shortcut. In other words, we're going to skip step 2 and 3 and proceed directly to step 4. 
So, let's have the mole to Avogadro's number ratio. Again, 1 mole of glucose is to 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power molecule of the glucose. Then, cancel out the moles remaining molecule of glucose as to answer the problem. So, let's compute. 4 times 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power molecule of glucose divided by 1 is equals to 2.4 times 10 to 24 power molecule of glucose. Do you have the same answer? Very good. And for our next sample problem, we have how many moles of carbon atoms is 4.42 times 10 to 24 power atoms of carbon? Take note that the problem is asking for moles of carbon. Therefore, we can do the shortcut for this one. Now, our given is 4.42 times 10 to 24 power of atoms of carbon. Then, we can now proceed to Avogadro's number to mole ratio. Skipping step 2 and 3. Again, our Avogadro's number and mole ratio is 1 mole is to 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power as the Avogadro's number. Then, we can cancel out atoms of carbon, remaining the moles of carbon as to answer the problem. Now, let's solve. 4.42 times 10 to 24 power times 1 mole of carbon divided by 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power. That is equals to 7.8 moles of carbon. Do you have the same answer? Very good. And for our next sample problem, we have calculate the mass in 2.5 times 10 to 9 power particles of water. Before starting, make sure to understand first the problem. Then, identify what is the given. We have 2.5 times 10 raised to 9 power particles of water. Then, get the Avogadro's number and mole ratio. As you can see, our second step is the first step from the previous problems that we solved because it is now on the reverse process or reverse problem. We are now being asked on the mass and our given is the particles. So let's have the mole to Avogadro's number ratio that is 1 mole of H2O is to 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power particles of water. Since our given is in particles of water, therefore, the Avogadro's number should be written also as the denominator for us to cancel out. Then next, the molar mass of water, that is 18 grams of water. Then, as our last step, is the mole to mass ratio. 18 grams of water is to 1 mole of water. So, we can cancel out now particles of water, then the mole of water remaining grams of water as to answer the problem. So, let's compute. 2.5 times 10 raised to 9 power times 1 divided by 6.022 times 10 to 23rd power times 18 is equals to 7.5 times 10 raised to negative 14 grams of water.